Thank you, Kim. Good morning. Love the energy up here. All right. So my name is Mojgan Lefebvre, and uh, as Kim said, I'm the CIO of Liberty Mutual's Global Specialty Unit. What I'm going to spend the next 15 to 20 minutes talking to you about is really the story of how Liberty Mutual, a 100-year-old insurance company, is jumping into the cloud, leveraging cloud foundry and agile methodologies to truly transform the way that we deliver software and technology to our end users, both our customers and our employees. But I want to start with just telling you a little bit about my background. So I left my hometown and home country of Iran right after high school to come to the US to study computer science at Georgia Tech. While at Tech, I actually worked as a developer at Georgia Tech Research Institute. I did programming for unmanned missiles and pattern recognition for tanks in the military. From there, after school, I actually joined as a developer at Bell South. I really loved programming, but I was fascinated by the impact that it had on technology and on the business. And so I went back to school, did my MBA, then joined Bain as a strategy consultant. But then with all that was happening with the internet in the uh, 2000s, I decided to go back to the world of technology. Joined a startup called eRoom, and then from there went on to some larger organizations, eventually in 2010, joining Liberty Mutual as the CIO of the commercial business, and then four years ago took over a CIO for our global specialty business. Liberty Mutual is a large, globally diversified property and casualty insurance company. We're a Fortune 73 company, and we, we have 37 plus billion in revenues. Every year we spend over a billion and a half dollars on technology, building solutions, both again for internal use and external use. So just think about that number. And we've been around for over 100 years. So as you can imagine, the way that we've usually developed our solutions is spending months gathering requirements, many times not necessarily directly talking to the end users, but having lots of BAs and analysts and project managers in between. And then the development teams would go off and sometimes spend a year or even more developing a solution and then bringing it back. So you can imagine that by the time the end users saw the solution, it was usually not what they expected. Most of the time, it would have taken longer, was more expensive, and didn't really do what they thought they were getting. And so we, of course, realized that this has to change. And I'd say this change is probably even more critical right now in a world where our consumers and our employees are the same consumers of companies like Amazon, Netflix, Airbnb, and others. And so really, we have competition coming at us from every side. And the pace of change that's happening in the world around us is accelerating. I'd say Mark Andreessen probably put it best when he said, software is eating the world. And that's absolutely true in the world of insurance as well. Whether it's companies like Metro Mile that do pay per mile insurance, or Lemonade that does insurance for renters and homeowners where they've taken out all of the red tape and paperwork that's involved in buying insurance, and you can actually buy insurance on your phone with just a few clicks and swipes, we know that we too have to become a software company that sells insurance. So with such a large transformation ahead of us, we went ahead and put some very aggressive objectives for ourselves, knowing that going to the cloud having an automated pipeline that enables us to release code much faster and much more frequently than we do today, and having the right makeup for our IT organization were really critical to this transformation. And I can tell you that these are very, very aggressive goals for us, because today we probably only have 5 to 10% max of our workload in the cloud. We definitely don't release code on a daily basis. And probably, at most, 50% of our IT staff actually write code. The others are doing documentation, requirements gathering, project management, and a lot of operational roles, especially as it relates to infrastructure. We also know that this transformation isn't really something that the IT organization can do on its own. 
and that business buy-in and involvement from all of the company and the entire business is absolutely critical to the transformation. We've also recognized that we absolutely need partnership from some key partners. And on the slide, you see just a couple of those. With Cloud Foundry and Pivotal's Pivotal Lab arm and Amazon Web Services just being some of those. So what I want to share with you is how in my business unit at Global Specialty, we're actually making our transformation real by putting some of these methodologies, frameworks, and technologies into practice, recognizing that it's really only by doing, by experimenting, perhaps sometimes failing a little bit, but picking back up, learning from it, and really leveraging all of these new methodologies and technologies that we can work towards the objectives, the very aggressive objectives that we have set. And so one of the things that I told my team a couple of years ago, and together we came to the conclusion, was that with every opportunity that would come our way, we would build it on the cloud, unless we proved that for some reason we couldn't do that. And we have yet to encounter such an instance. And so when the opportunity came our way last year, in August of 2016, where our Australian business was looking to enter the accident and health insurance market, which is a quarter billion market. They wanted to be able to do that within six months because really the renewal season was going to start in March of 2017. And so they came to us and they said, we want to get into this opportunity because it's really one of the first times in a few years that we have an opportunity for growth. With all of the competition and the uh, pricing pressures that had been out there, they hadn't been able to grow. And so this was very important to them. So what they wanted the technology team to do was to build an end-to-end -end underwriting portal for the brokers so that they could go live by March of 2017. And so that meant we only had six months really to do everything, understand exactly what it was that they were looking for, and build it for them. And so we started to evaluate our options. We had three. We went out and looked at the vendor solutions that were available very quickly learned that the brokers actually pretty much hated what was out there, that they were using it because that, that's all the other companies were offering them. Plus, it would have taken definitely more than six months and several million to put that in place. You know, using the word that Chip said he hated, legacy platforms, but we, we said, let's look at what we already had and what would it take to invest and bring that up to what it needed to be. But it, we realized that investing hundreds of thousands in older technology would really not get us there, especially that all of those solutions were hosted in our data centers in the US. And so we recognized very quickly that really the best choice that we had was to build the solution to be exactly what they needed, but to build it on new technology and to build it with an agile mindset so that we would be laser focused on delivering a minimum viable product that could be ready in a matter of months and to build it with Cloud Foundry, and to leverage Pivotal Labs to really teach our teams how to do this with test-driven development and paired programming and truly a true agile model. So what we did was, in September of uh, 2016, we actually sent a couple of our developers to Sydney where our chief underwriter was and worked with Pivotal Labs in Sydney to do the framing, and they also went out and started interviewing the brokers. Believe it or not, this was the first time that our developers were actually directly talking to the end customer. I can tell you the energy they got from that was phenomenal. And then they went back to Dublin, where our Agile team was based. And at Pivotal Labs in Dublin, they started building. And within only four weeks, they actually had a workable MVP, not something that could be put in front of the brokers necessarily, but something that we could start having the internal underwriters start giving feedback on. And the product owner, of course, was quite engaged as well, working with us on a daily basis. And so they continued to iterate and build, integrate with the backend systems of claims and finance, uh, making sure that underwriting capabilities, quoting and rating capabilities were also available. And then they put a second product on. So first they started with corporate travel, and then a second insurance product was on. And then within six months, the portal was ready and in a state that it could actually be given to our brokers. Of course, throughout the process, we had a few of the friendly brokers 
um, also involved making sure that we were getting feedback from them and incorporating that into the build of the solution. So I, was, I want to just introduce you to three of the folks that were very um, critical to the success with our chief underwriter, the product owner, and a couple of the technical guys who were involved in this. And so I'm going to pass the mic on to them. As I said before, watching it grow before your eyes and, and develop is extremely exciting. And you don't have to wait for six months to see what you're getting. It's right there in front of your eyes. What the hell are you doing? It's reacting. Uh, reacting in your business, get the short feedback, make sure your business what you want. Our business get to see what we build, when we build. We get constant feedback the whole way through the development life cycle. And we're talking to users and making sure that it always meets their needs. And if we change something, we're testing it with them again. And so we're, we're confident that we're building something that they need. So really, the team learning experience was fantastic. They hit all the deadlines and delivered a product that was getting rave reviews from the brokers. But I want to share a little bit more about the experience and really how we're measuring the success and some of the drivers of that success. In talking to the team, one of the main things that they tell us is that it was really the culture that they established within the team that was critical to their success. The fact that they were laser focused on delivering value, measuring it by the user stories that were directly defined by the product owner and the number of user stories that they could actually put into production at the speed that they were doing it. They were also very autonomous. So every single person who needed to be part of the decision making process and approvals was actually part of the project team. So this was an autonomous agile team that didn't need to wait for others for approvals that could sometimes take days or weeks in the world that we work in. And then finally, it was really the technical excellence of the tools and everything that they had in their hands and the ability to really do the test-driven development and paired programming that helped them become better and better even throughout the project. And additionally, the speed to market that was delivered in this case was very different from what we could have done in the past where it would have taken at least a year for us to put the first release in the hands of the users. And also, the release cycle time was extremely different what, with what we were used to. So again, in the past, if, we, if it would have taken a year to put something in the hands of the users, in this case, in a matter of weeks, a first MVP was developed, and then it continued to get better and better and have more capabilities and functionalities. So in, in five months, we had 16 releases that were put in the hands of our users. And so that was very different from what they were used to. All of this really resulting in a superior product. So the strike rate, which is the number of quotes becoming policies in this instance was 40% compared to 20% for the industry. While on other competitor systems, it took 10 minutes to do referrals, with our system, it took only three minutes. Now, it's not because it was magic. It was because in the interviews, it had ma been made very obvious that referral time was one of the biggest pain points with some of the other systems. So the team made sure that they focused on that and that the they delivered what the brokers were looking for. And so within the first month of operation, we had almost 200 quotes and 60 policies bound in the system. And so now I just want to leave you with some of what testimonials our developers have told us. They talk about how, with the framework, their work was able to be really accelerated. The fact that because they could focus on actually coding, they were able to improve their technical capabilities over the six months that they were on this project, and they're continuing to do that. And the fact that they were doing this in paired programming also contributed a lot to them learning every day. With all of the tools and frameworks that they had at their hands, their productivity was much higher than they were used to. And the fact that every developer got to work on every tier of the application was very important to them. It just made it much more interesting, and their learning was much larger. And of course, all of it resulting in a much higher uh, quality product than many of the other software solutions that would take much longer to develop. They were working in a technology stack that they actually wanted to be working in. And I'd say finally,
the fact that they were spending most of their time doing what they loved was very important to them. So really, by taking a little bit of risk, deciding to jump into the cloud and leverage Cloud Foundry and other frameworks, we were able to deliver a speed to market, building the right product, and building it the right way. But I'd say more importantly, or most importantly, we had a very engaged environment, and our talent was very engaged, and they felt great because they felt like they were developing and learning every day. Thank you.